Welcome to the Virtual Soil Science Learning Resources website. Um, this is the, the outcome of a project that started 25 years ago here in British Columbia and has involved numerous people. I would like to ask the uh, current leader of the project, Maya, here to explain to us what this actually is, what, they'll, what people will see on the website. Um, we have a variety of uh, educational learning resources about soil science and they range from anywhere uh, from introduction to basic soil science concepts over um, soil classification to land use impacts on soil quality to finally a group of uh, projects that we recently developed that try to raise awareness about soil science with a broader um, community. And as you said, Art, uh, the projects originally started in uh, British Columbia, namely at the uh, University of British Columbia, but then it spread to other BC um, universities like Thompson Rivers University and University of Northern BC. Um, and lately, um, other um, scientists from other Canadian universities also joined in. So at the moment, this is a true Canadian collaboration um, in order to promote soil science and to teach soil science in a different or innovative way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So um, that uh, explains something about how we got to where we are here, but why is this important? Well, as you know, uh, we soil scientists are not that great in uh, promoting our discipline beyond the university. And um, several of us felt that we need something different to reach a broader audience beyond our typical university students. And one way we thought we might be able to do this is to engage into video and multimedia and produce different types of uh, resources that are not just useful for our students but also for broader audience um, because as we as soil scientists know, soil science is uh, an extremely important natural resource um, which is incorporated in many aspects of, of our lives and also current um, issues like climate change and uh, food security and loss of mm -hmm. land and uh, quality of water and so on. But general public might not be uh, aware of these roles that soils play. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think uh, soil science uh, offers us uh, some concepts around how soils form that also give us a good understanding of how in, uh, ecosystems function. And so uh, this website gives a lot of information on the soil forming factors. Do you want to mm -hmm. discuss that just a bit? Because uh, that's what um, people are going to see on the site here. That's right, yeah, especially if they go under the um, uh, content tag that says soil classification, they will find several of the learning resources that talk about uh, soil formation and various more specific processes of, of soil formation and soil classification. Um, but I also hope that uh, that kind of material will be also useful for um, students and teachers and general public who are interested in ecology and uh, um, natural resources because it really puts soils in the context of the environment, broader context of the environment and what are the roles that soil plays in a specific um, place like grasslands of, uh, of BC or um, northern soils in polar regions or maybe some tropical soils um, in some other parts beyond Canada. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So um, it, it's, there's a lot of information here that can be uh, taken on board to improve our, our, our knowledge but uh, do you anticipate any other impacts on, on people as they learn more about the soil resource? That's a good question, Arta. I would like to believe that uh, these resources that we developed and that we are currently working on will have a longer lasting impact uh, um, on our students and beyond because uh, by learning about the importance of, of soil and what are the roles that soil plays, um, hopefully everybody will understand why it's important to conserve and protect um, this resource, which is integral part of the environment and uh, um, that will hopefully prompt some, somebody to further action 
um, to conserve and, uh, and uh, enhance this resource and environment in which we live. Mm -hmm. To sum up then, we feel strongly that soil science is important for people to understand their environment. And it doesn't really matter whether you're uh, interested in agricultural, forested, or natural landscapes, um, it's, it still offers us a unifying way to look at how these systems function. And even if you're in an urban landscape where the lands, where soils and, and uh, things are, are heavily uh, modified by human activity, we can still apply these principles. So uh, the, the important question here then, Maya, is we, we have a website uh, with resources. What's the future for this uh, virtual soil science uh, uh, resource? Well, it has been growing, as you mentioned, for the last 25 years. And uh, we definitely didn't plan that uh, 25 years ago we will have this many uh, learning resources like what we have currently. Um, so the, the exciting nature of all of these projects was that it, they are flexible, they are open, they invite collaboration. Uh, we hope that this website will showcase what we have done it, and it will spark some interest in some colleagues out there and that uh, um, will lead to some future collaboration and future exciting projects. So it's, um, it's quite open and we, we worked with various collaborators from all over now, um, Canada, and we hope that we will continue to do so and that we can maybe inter invite some international collaborate collaborators as well.